All right, uh, <clears throat> this is a different air flow sensor, but I'm just going to show you without the uh, Q-tip because some people got on my butt about the Q-tip. Uh, and they're actually, now to think about it, uh, showing people how to do it with a Q-tip may not be the greatest idea because uh, you can actually do some damage. The reason I did it with the Q-tip because it was like really, really dirty when I looked down inside. But once again, this is a different type. It looks a little bit different than the other one that we've seen in another video. But uh, nonetheless, it, it's the same. I wanted to show you something that was... Uh, I don't know if you could tell, but the wire all the way to the left is like a goldish color. You, that's one way you can tell the signal. The signal wire. You can see if... I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's like gold. The one all the way to the left. And I already went across those other two wires, the ones to the right. On the other sensor where we're looking at, the ones on the, uh, these two over here were for the uh, intake air temperature sensor. And this one, it's these two over here. And then so these three are for the mass airflow sensor, and it's going to be the same thing, 12 volt. 12 volt feed, ground, and the signal. You can actually tell the signal right there just by looking at the color of the wire. Anyways, uh... This sets a code quite often, most often, um, P0171, P0174, uh, you know, bank one, bank two, lean condition. What happens is uh, if you don't clean your air filter, these, these little terminals in here, these little uh, filaments, they get uh, contaminated. And uh, what happens is basically it's like putting a jacket over these things. It contaminates them. So the computer, the computer's not seeing the fuel, or I mean the air that's coming in, because the, it, it's being um, it's being covered with with dirt and soot or whatever have you, and causes a P0171, P0174, and uh, also you can have a lean condition from other other instances like for example uh, a clogged restricted uh, fuel filter or a low powered uh, fuel pump or you know you can even have like a bad power and ground going to the fuel pump it's going to cause a lean code you know but um quite often this is uh, in these modern vehicles you're, you're going to have the P0171, P0174 and I believe there might be some other P0170 something that come up with this maybe a P0172 also and uh, really all you gotta do is um, we're just this time I'm gonna I'm, I'm not gonna use the the q-tip because in all reality if you looked at my other video I used the q-tip and I did not damage it but showing people to do it that way might might not be the best idea because people might be more careless and they might damage it so you just want to get it at an angle and like I said this right here is the intake air temperature sensor I suggest wearing gloves I watch some videos and people are saying why are you wearing gloves real mechanics don't have time for gloves that's bullcrap it just is I know a lot of mechanics they wear gloves because you work day in and day out with with dirty stuff you they do because when you work from dirty to getting in somebody's vehicle they don't want grease all over their vehicle so you know, people make generalizations about mechanics when they're not even mechanics, so it's funny. But yeah, I do recommend wearing gloves because this stuff, it look, it's dangerous. You know what I mean? This stuff soaks into your skin. So, yeah, this, uh, you get this stuff, it's, it's a skin irritant. It says right here, causes eye and skin irritation. So, avoid contact with skin. It says right there, so I mean... I'm holding this with my hand. I'm wearing gloves. So, you just want to get it at an angle like this. You can go like this. You can go like this. I like getting it like that so it can come off the side. Hit it one way. Hit it again. Hit that way. Hit it again. Uh, we want to get this in here, but we don't really want to touch it, so we're going to get it like right here. We want to kind of get it close, though, so we can get in here. And that should be, that should do good enough. 
and uh, I've done this before actually with this particular vehicle and I also did the uh, in my previous video where I was checking the voltage signal and the voltage increases and and that's one reason that you you get a code like I was talking about with the uh, P0171, P0172, P0174 because the dirt and crud and everything if you don't change take care of your uh, your air filter you get dirt and grime and everything and a lot of thing is uh, I know people are gonna say otherwise but like if you use like a K&N and everything you can get build up because they, they use as uh, oil when you uh, some people may spray too much oil when they're when they're washing it and spraying the oil and it'll build up on there and uh, what will happen is um it basically works as uh, as a jacket to 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 prevent this this these little sensors down here from sensing the air coming in so there's more air coming in than what the computer sees so what happens is the computer does not put enough fuel so what happens is the the oxygen sensor reads that it's a lean because there's too much air and not enough fuel because the computer's not compensating for what it's not seeing so a lot of the times the P0171, P0172, P0174 codes like that oftentimes it's in these modern vehicles that have mass airflow sensors it's uh, a common fix is uh, just to clean it and uh, I mean you know it's only four or five bucks six bucks out of your pocket to get the cleaner and then clean it so uh, I would not recommend using brake cleaner. I'll just use that mass airflow sensor cleaner. It's a little more expensive than like brake cleaner, but I wouldn't use a brake cleaner. I see what brake cleaner does to stuff. I sprayed brake cleaner on some new plastic and it, it ruined the plastic. So this stuff's all plastic. You can see it's plastic. Um, I wouldn't spray brake cleaner. I just went out and spend that twice the money. You know, it was about seven bucks for the bottle. You could get order them online cheaper, I'm sure of it. But uh, just get in there, try to clean them. I'd do it every time you change the air filter. I'd do it ever so often, you know. You just want to maintain it. And you want to make sure this thing is nice and dry before you put it back in. I'll just let this sit for about like 20 minutes because it has, you know, it has sensitive it's a sensitive electronic and you don't want to um, you don't want to just throw it in there if it has still a little bit wet inside there. But uh like I was saying, often cause for 170P0171, P0172, P0174. Clean, it can't hurt to just clean it. And if it doesn't fix it, then you can look into further problems like vacuum leaks or uh, fuel restrictions or, uh, you know, other possible causes for lean conditions. But uh doesn't hurt to just clean it. So uh, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.